Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook. So this is a special video as I've just hit 1000 subscribers. Thank you to everybody who has watched my videos and clicked the subscribe button. It means a lot to me. So I felt it was fitting to create a telegram bot that tells you how many subscribers you have with Python and a Raspberry Pi. So in this video, we will be creating a telegram bot that will reply to a get subscribers command with the subscriber count and a get views command with the view count. So let's get started. For this video, all you will need is a Google account, Telegram account, and a Raspberry Pi, as well as a computer. First, obtain a YouTube API key from the developer console. To do so, go to this link on screen and in the description below. Then, in the search box, type YouTube. You'll then need to find the V3 YouTube API and enable it. After that, you will need to create an API key by clicking Create Credentials, and you will use this in a bit. Then, get the channel ID of the channel you want to get stats for. One way to get it is by going to Social Blade and clicking on Future Projections. The ID should show up on a banner. Next, you will need to set up a Telegram bot. To do so, go into the Telegram app, click on Search, and type in Bot Father, and start a conversation with the bot. Follow the on-screen instructions on how to create the bot and get the API key of the bot. Next, you need to set up a Raspberry Pi and be able to access a terminal window. I have a few videos on my channel on how to do so. Once you have the Pi set up, type in this command, which is on screen and in the description below. This will download the code for this tutorial. Let me explain what this code does. The first two lines import all the necessary packages required. The next four lines initialize all of the keys required to use this program. Then there is a function called return subs. The purpose of this function is pretty self-explanatory as it will reply to a command with the number of subscribers that a YouTube channel has. In this case, if you look at the decorator above the function, the defined command is get subscribers. The next function is very similar, but it returns views instead of subscribers. Finally, the last line of the program tells the Pi to keep listening for new messages. Before you run the program, there is one package that needs to be installed called Pi Telegram Bot API. This makes the whole process a lot easier. To do so, type into your terminal pip3 install Pi Telegram Bot API. Now, you need to put in the API keys that you got from Telegram and YouTube into the program. To edit the Python file, type in nano yt underscore telegram dot py. Then move your cursor with the arrow keys and paste in the API keys. This isn't the best practice for storing API keys, but it'll work for this tutorial as it is a private server. To exit, click Control, X, Y, and then enter. Once you've done that, you can run the program. Now open Telegram on your phone or computer and access your Telegram bot by searching for it. Once you've done so, click Start at the bottom and type slash get subscribers. Then the bot should reply to your message with the number of subscribers that the channel has. Then type in slash get views and the bot should reply with the total number of views that the channel has. If you want the program to continue running after you've closed SSH, then enter this command on screen and in the description below. So with that, you've successfully created a Telegram bot that relays YouTube stats. If you want to improve upon this program further, you will need to go to the YouTube API docs. The link is on screen and in the description below, as always. In the API docs, you can see what the API returns with each query, and you can add more channel statistics to the program. So that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for 1000 subscribers. There will be many good videos to come. Please hit like and get subscribed so you won't miss my future videos. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.